good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening there has been a clamor to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game the uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic the car parks are full there is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The uh, Stadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through. And it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. So off we go then. Walcott. Here Nacho plays it through. Vardy, he gets past his man. Now can he finish? Oh, shooting chance! They've scored! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Fraser Forster reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Ah, oh, that's great awareness. Full marks to him as he was just that bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up. Leicester go ahead, one goal to the good. Dinks one in. And that's been levered clear. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Southampton seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. And here's Vardy. Iannaccio proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. He's got through, gets good distance on it. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Johnny Evans, Ricardo Pereira, Amati Ndidi Amati Ndidi Tielemans And that's been won straight back Leicester seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Tielemans. Southampton are already chasing the game. Long time to go. Well, it can be very hard to regroup and work your way back into the match, but they've got time. Tielemans. 
Well, Red, he sorted that out. Now a chance to break. Amati does well there. Alert. And it's Iannaccio. Keeps everyone guessing. And here's Iannaccio. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. He's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way inclined. Hoists it forward. He's left his man. Vardy with the delivery. Strong punch. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Lobs it in gently. And he just whacks it away. Out for a throw. Lovely bit of skill. Ward Prowse goes for the cross and it's played forward. Ricardo Pereira. Amati. Redmond. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Ricardo Pereira. And Didi. He's pinged one through here. And that's a throw in. Tielemans. Ricardo Pereira plays it out to the wing. Too much on it and out of play. Now it's Ings. And it's Ward Prowse. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Knocks it away. Danger averted for now. Just brushed off the ball there. And here's Vardy, finds himself eased off the ball. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Tielemans. Southampton are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Forward it goes. And now the breakaway. Ings goes steaming forward. Crunching tackle. It's a loose ball. Walcott drills one in. And Didi. Walcott did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Ward Prowse. Out to the right. Ings. Ward Prowse. He's gone for it! 
And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's Vardy. And the whistle goes for half time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And the game has already resumed here. Southampton need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? And Didi tries to get it forward quickly. Bertrand. Redmond. Tielemans. Vardy gets it out to the wing. Right through the middle. Iheanacho. Oh, he has stuck it into his own net. Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. And it's Bertrand. Redmond. Romeu. Walcott. Hits one! He has done it! Back to within one! Interesting! Jim, your thoughts? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. This is threatening to become a really good game. Our scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Redmond. Redmond going full tilt down the left. Ricardo Pereira. Ndidi. Well, they are still trailing. And they require a change of fortune, pretty sharpish. Tries to get it forward quickly. Driving on, he could shapes the shoot! Bednarek. Southampton really aren't helping themselves. They're not seeing enough of the ball. Ings. And they've got it going for goal!
Southampton are making a change now. And the defence can get it clear. And it's Walker. And the finish! Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Bertrand. And he's there to hoof it away. And here's Redmond. Southampton are definitely going about this the right way. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Foot in. It's come loose. Real chance! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And Didi. Johnny Evans. Forward it goes. Referee's given a throw. Leicester can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Vardy. Bertrand. Hoists it forward. Ward Prowse. Shoots! Oh, should have been the equaliser. That was extremely good focus from the keeper, and it could turn out to be quite a significant moment. Ndidi. Amati. Tielemans. And it's played forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Redmond. Chance! It's off target and by quite a way. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Redmond. Oh, some tackle that. Referee's had a good look and given a corner. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be. Heads it! A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Tielemans gets it away. Southampton are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Amati with a fine tackle. And out to safety. Ward Prowse. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Bertrand goes looking. Ward Prowse. And here's Ings. That's gone a long way up and away. And it's Ward Prowse. 
Walker Peters. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Walcott delivers. And he's managed to beat absolutely everyone. And there goes the final whistle. Southampton lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Southampton can be quite proud of themselves despite the result. And 